Hi, I'm Adam Carter. I'm the VP of Product Management at SolidFire. I'm going to talk a little bit about global efficiencies and what we see going on with customers in the industry. When customers talk to me, a lot of times when we talk about efficiencies, everybody starts right away assuming that we're talking about the storage system and dedupe, compression, thin provisioning, and really zero in on that part of the efficiency conversation. That's a really interesting part of the conversation, but there's a lot more to what we're talking about when we're talking about global efficiencies. We're really talking about things that are driving the next generation data center trends. So what I mean when I say that is, this is much more up and down the stack of the entire environment that customers are building. So what I'm talking about here is where we've got a storage system here and we've got efficiencies that are in this system and we've built this for consolidation. I want to tell you a bit more about why and why this matters in this environment. So to set the stage, let's first talk about kind of the environment and the problems that we're dealing with and what we're looking for efficiency in. Most of these environments, we're talking about multiple data centers here. We're talking about worldwide, multiple teams, multiple data centers. And a lot of the problems that have shown up as inefficiencies so far are all over the stack. They're not just in the storage, they're not just in the networking, they're in the servers, in the compute. It's even in the teams. You know, a common trend to see where there's a lot of inefficiency is when you have multiple teams at these sites and one team owns networking and another team owns storage and they don't make decisions together, so they're both off doing things that are very inefficient. And really what this turns into is essentially a big operations matrix of pain, where at each of these environments you've got four different storage systems for five different use cases. You've got multiple network vendors in here between the servers that are connecting all of this stuff. You've got lots of different types of servers and the management of this is just a huge expense and burden in and of itself. So when we talk about global efficiencies, the thing to really get your head wrapped around is there's pieces of it that are important, but if you get really narrowed down into just the pieces, you know, how much is this server versus that server, then you're missing the bigger picture where there's more efficiency to be gained. So while we're talking to CIOs that are looking at their efficiencies worldwide and they're trying to improve this, they need to start first from building a design for this whole new next generation data center. Now some people call this um, maybe their software defined data center, some people call it their private cloud project, or they really use the term next generation data center. All of these have this similar theme though that we need to consolidate and try to simplify our world down to as few pieces as possible to achieve the job in the best way with the best efficiency possible. So what I'm talking about there is consolidating teams, not having a network team and a storage team and a server team who make independent decisions. Having the decisions made across all of your environments globally. Then getting down to, can I use one system, one compute platform, one networking platform, one storage platform that maybe as a single cog wasn't the least expensive or the fastest or the biggest, it wasn't about one speed or feed, but it was about will this thing enable me to run everything I need in one consistent system so that we can get to the point of having an efficient system where I've got ideally this one thing that I know how to do management of, I know how to do you know, monitoring of what am, I, what am I gonna look at in this environment, I know how the team is going to automate all of this stuff, and it's all about this one platform. And so what I'm really talking about here is getting to a core infrastructure as a service that's going to solve all of my infrastructure needs in a way that's cohesive up and down the entire stack. So I've got one team, one infrastructure as a service. The efficiency in that, the global efficiency in that, much more than just the dedupe and compression and uh, while wow, those are all very real things in this, you tend to see customers who get this design right consolidating everything from tens to twenties of racks into half of a rack of really powerful, consistent material. And then they get their efficiency more out of what it's like to manage that and that they have no matrix of pain anymore and that that trumps what any one device could do in this type of environment. And where this really applies in, in our world is that it influenced our design a lot. The way that we go about building a system is all a commodity-based environment that's designed to be simple at large scale and automated at large scale in a way that really fits this next generation design versus being a point solution for one particular app. So as customers move into this next generation data center, 
we just continue to encourage everybody to look at how they do their design up and down the stack entirely, even to how their teams are designed and how their teams are structured around what they're building and why are they building it. And, and pull back a little bit from like an exact speed or feed at driving a particular decision. I hope this was useful information for you and uh, enjoy some of the blogs and other videos around our launch this quarter. Thanks.